must tell you a story. Uh, we have a very good car and bike show, you know, and mm -hmm. a very really popular anchor. And he walked into my uh, room the other day and said, I got a problem. Youngsters are not watching my show. So I said, why? He said, they don't want to buy a car. They don't want to learn to drive. They're using Uber. It's a beautiful thing. Because Uber is freedom. In our generation, a car was freedom. Yes. Yes. Now a car is a millstone around your neck and Uber's freedom. Mobility yes, for us yes. is about opportunity. And I think in general, this, this new generation that we have is moving from stuff and ownership to experiences. Right. And I think that Uber, travel, et cetera, life I think is about experiences and the ownership right. of things isn't what it used it's to be. You're right, it is a millstone. It, it keeps mm -hmm. you grounded versus freeing you up. And as I remember you saying one, once, uh, one of the most impressive things about Uber is that it's a verb. Yes. That really got absolutely, you. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. One, thought, one of my, yeah, my father's advice was, when you get to run a company that's become a verb, <laughs> you say yes. Yes, wow, that's amazing. And I hate to say it, it reflects part of the world that you and I come from where fathers matter. <laughs> absolutely, fathers matter and, and I think they, that's a good thing. Yeah, absolutely. Mothers, mothers matter as well. Of but course, certainly. yeah, yeah. Sometimes in India, mothers are like more important than fathers, but whatever it is, it's I would it's say in both. Iran, it's the same thing. Same thing, thing. Yeah, yes, yeah, the yeah, mothers yeah. rule the roost. Yeah, and even, even today your boss is really... I'm really my wife now. A hundred percent, hundred percent. Now you have uh, been to India recently. And um, I'm gonna, don't be too diplomatic. What did you like, and especially what did you not like about India? <laughs> <laughs> that you tell me off the record. <laughs> what, what I loved about India is the entrepreneurship and, yeah. and the growth mindset. You know, this yes, is yes, an yes. economy that's going to be an enormous economy. I think Modi and team are, you know, they, they want to be. Um, they want to have India assume its rightful place on the globe and, and you feel ambition everywhere. Yes, I yes. think that the, where India, um, my observation is that you've got to match the ambition with organization and some of the structures and infrastructure work yes, yes. is behind the society and that's something that I, I think is, you know, you have to work on. Uh, so uh, one of the, in fact, I'll tell you, when we get a lot of trainers coming to NDTV from all over the world, top trainers, mm -hmm, and they, mm -hmm. they train many countries and they all say one thing, the kids here are the finest kids that we ever train. They're inquisitive, they're hungry, they're entrepreneurial, and it really makes you feel good. So our generation has given your generation pollution, corruption, you better now change all that. We're, we're working on it. Yeah. It's, it's interesting what you say about the, the youth. We're actually, in India, we're not only investing in the business itself, in the Uber business, mm -hmm. but we're really doubling down in terms of technology talent in India. Okay. We have yeah. two dev centers. We're going to double, triple, quadruple the number of engineers that we see in India because actually wow. the education system in India is very strong. The technical talent is 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 strong and this new generation is educated and hardworking and we want to pull and be a part of that talent base so there's a big investment so you recognize going in the, the entrepreneurial and the iq levels of these of i think the iq levels the technical talent along with kind of this entrepreneurial edge which right. which is very very present and part very of our spirit here yep absolutely I see. So and, and i think the, the other interesting factor with india is that India on a product basis can be a gateway to much of the developing world. The Indian customer, Indian customer is a tough customer. The very Indian customer price is sensitive, very quality sensitive. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. they're price sensitive and they or want the best service out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. for us to some extent, we want the engineers on the ground because only they can, only if you're in India, you really build a great product for India. Yeah, and yeah. that great product we think will travel into Latin America, will travel into Africa, etc. So we kind of view India as a bit of an innovation gateway for us for into the developing world. Oh, it's not just about India. Very for us. interesting. Actually, Bill, uh, I know, for example, browsers. Uh, there is a browser which is beating all the well known browsers. It's got 60% of the market. Why? Because it's light. Yes. And people yes. have very little bandwidth. They don't have much budgets. So they've gone for that. 
you will see exactly. On, you should you should be on a product team because uh, <laughs> there's a version of Uber so coming out. I don't mind out. being as long as they do exactly the opposite of whatever I say. <laughs> that, that works. Let me tell you. In this case, uh, you will see a version of Uber coming out, which will be much lighter, and it's okay. built for India. Okay. Exactly. Wow, and that, that can path. be around Africa and South America, Southeast Asia, the everywhere. First market is mm. India, and then and India will be that staging ground for us, and then right. we'll launch it to other markets as well. Wow. So now you're out of China, you're out of Indonesia, but you bought into Brazil. Yes. Uh, are you going to buy into India or get out of India, or neither? Oh, we're buying into India. You're buying we're into buying India. into India. Not Part getting of the out. reason, no, absolutely not. We want to win in India. India is an extraordinarily important strategic market for us on a global basis. Our moving out of Indonesia allows us to lean in more aggressively into India, which is one of the really important reasons why we made that move. Tell me about yourself. From when you were born to now, just in... We can Boy. take another hour for that. <laughs> <laughs> the short story is I was born in Iran. Yes, we yes, yes. Uh, were a very wealthy family. We had a family business in yeah. Iran. We all lived together. Family was everything for me growing up. Of course, up. of course. Yes, uh, yes. And in 1978, you had the Iranian revolution where the Islamic revolution yes, happened. Yes, yes. Um, I was there just before that as really? a hitchhiker. Really? Yes. Wow. <laughs> uh, and, and when you're in the middle of something like that, you never actually understand what's happening. And so we actually said, you know, let's, let's leave for France until things calm down. Things have never okay, calmed down. Yeah, that's uh, the and my family lost everything. We came mm -hmm. to America to stay with my uncle who had us stay with Where, him. In, the, in this area, California? Uh, actually in New York, in New, York. New York. Oh, lovely. Um, mm -hmm. And we had to rebuild everything. And it's myself and my two brothers, my mom and dad, my father went back to Iran for a couple of years oh, and, and actually mm -hmm. he couldn't leave. So it was oh. really my mother who raised myself and oh, my, really? my brothers okay. when I was a teenager. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so and you've had a strict upbringing. That oh, <laughs> mother's yes. fixing strong. <laughs> I meant it when I said that, yeah. that uh, the women r ruled the roost. I studied to be an engineer at college because uh, for an Iranian family, you either have to be a doctor or an yeah. engineer. Welcome I think to that's yes, exactly similar to, to an Indian. Shocking, yes. Um, of course, I fell in love with a girl, and I moved to New York to become an investment banker just because I was following my heart. Okay. Uh, and slowly but surely, I made my way from investment banking to mergers and acquisitions to being a CFO of a large conglomerate. And then my last job that really prepared me for this one is running Expedia, Expedia. which was an okay, online wow. travel company. We have an India years? presence. 13 years. 13 years. 13 years. Wow. And I work for Barry Diller, who's my mentor. Oh, He's a great So if your mom and dad walked up just now, what would you say to them? Give them um, my dad would say, uh, I think my dad would say he's proud of me. And, and, and that could put a tear in my eye, yeah. which, and is, what would you which say is cool. Um, thank you. Wow. Thank you. They made this all possible for me. God bless you. Thank you so and much. God give you strength. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank, Thank you for the visit. It was wonderful. Thank you. It was great.